I return in a different spot. Um, originally I was going to do the intro on my little couch over there, but let's do it here, it's fine. Today, painting this very large canvas behind me. I, ooh, yes. yes, I am painting this very large canvas. It is a 36 by 60. I've had this for quite a few months. Um, <laughs> I got it for my birthday from my parents because they're amazing and I love them. Um, and I've yet to paint it. I have things sort of set up here. These are going to be like my massive palette knives. I also have very large brushes and an absurd amount of paint in very large sizes. I, I got these off of Amazon because they were big and lots of colors. So hopefully these work out. Also, since this canvas is so big, and also this, because I also, you can't really see it. I also have some all-purpose joint compound, which is literally just dry walnut, um, because I didn't want to spend money on like thick body paint, and this is cheaper. Okay, and we also already had some of this, so that makes it better. Just gotta figure out how to do this. Oh, it smells so much. Very delightful smelling, delightful smelling canvas. Oh, I've also set plastic down so that I don't get paint all over the floor. So I'm a little intimidated. <laughs> I don't have an idea for this. I just want to say because well, here we are, and I'm just gonna wing it. I have so many colors. I can just. <laughs> right. I got these foam trays from the grocery store. I thought these would be perfect for mixing paint and stuff. I'm not quite sure. My dad suggested to add water to this so then it wasn't so thick. I don't know what color to do first. Now oh, that looks delicious. Is that foam or compound? I think it's very clear that I don't know what I'm doing. Oh geez. Hello. I'm putting yellow on it. It's very messy.
sign off for today, and I'll come back tomorrow. This is the progress that I made. I still have a few corners and stuff. And then that part. <sighs> this was the mess. I got to sit in that. Yeah, we'll be back when this is dry. Hello, future me here. I'm just gonna voice over this next part because I was very much not like 100% sure what I was saying when I recorded this and also there's that really annoying like wind sound in the background because I keep forgetting to turn the fan off when I'm recording but that room gets really really warm so I'm just gonna talk. During the week that I had painted this, I was very much lacking sleep because the previous week I had a hard time sleeping and falling asleep and I was just overall feeling just weird. I just wasn't feeling very great and demotivation and just a bunch of other things and I was like, I don't know what to do and so I was painting this and I was still unsure of what I wanted to do exactly with this painting so I decided to kind of paint what I was feeling because I'm the kind of person that likes to reflect how I feel to the things that I paint and I very much wanted this painting to reflect how things are temporary so that is how I kind of did this for me it's read from like left to right on how I felt that week and also I just developed a better technique by this point so I was easier to paint and I was very much enjoying the process and the mess unlike day one where I couldn't function in the mess this time it was much more cleaner and I knew what I was doing and it just made the whole experience a lot better I don't think, I think that egg might be rotten. <laughs> I've been feeling a lot better, but this area, the brown is kind of like tired, leading into like the weird funky mood that I was in. The colors represent things, but I'm not going to explain what those represent. And then over here, it's supposed to like kind of resemble how I feel now, after this. I really want this piece to like convey the fact that things are temporary.
honestly think it's done. And here I am back again because the annoying wind sound in the background of me talking is really, really annoying. But by this point, the bulk of the painting was done, like 100%. So it just left the very bare edges that I left and I decided to just paint them a simple black instead of trying to continue all the colors. And I just feel like it looks more professional and nice with a black edge. And holy crap, it is done. Ah! This was definitely one of my biggest projects. I think this painting took me roughly about six, seven hours to totally complete. Ah! But it's it's done and I'm, I, I'm so happy with how this turned out and I love everything about it. I love how colorful it is. I love the mes mes message that it portrays and I love every single detail because every single detail means something even though it's abstract art because abstract art has more meaning than I, <laughs> I can't even I can't even formulate words. But I took a lot a lot of close-up shots so here are all the close-up shots and yeah I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you have a fantabulous rest of your day. Bye!